Resident Evil 2's demo is out now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC, all the way out to January 31st. Now, I have to tell you right now, I've played this demo twice now because I had to create a second account. However, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this demo. So I want to give you guys my opinion on what I think and let you guys know how excited I am by the time that this game releases. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are talking about the Resident Evil 2 demo. Now again, if you have not downloaded this yet on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC, I definitely recommend it. It was a lot of fun to play this on stream. I had a great time, and I actually got scared a couple of times. Uh, I won't lie, it was actually pretty frightening some of the uh, moments. I was actually getting some flashbacks of like RE7 when I was actually jumping a couple of times in that game. But however, I had a lot of fun in this game. It was a lot of fun to kind of... Uh, get that nostalgia feeling of the old Resident Evil 2 back in the 90s. Right now, we're actually outside the uh, police department. I had no idea you could actually go out in the courtyard of the main entrance, so it's really cool to see the main entrance gate, as well as the side entrances that you actually enter in the old game. So again, I don't know what we're going to be doing when we actually get to the police station. I don't know if we're going to be entering through the main entrance gate or if we're going to be coming in off the side, but it was really cool to see that. And again, also as well, with that main entrance location, I was actually looking for some some nemesis easter eggs in that area. I didn't see anything yet. I didn't see Brad or anything. No indication of of a nemesis uh, easter egg or something like that. I thought it'd be cool to see something like that, but maybe when the game fully releases we might be seeing some of it. So let's talk about the gameplay. Let's talk about the graphic update and let's talk about just how I actually feel about this game and how positive I feel with the uh, game's release when it comes to January 25th. So Let's talk about the gameplay. I will say I was actually fairly impressed with the over-the-shoulder gameplay in this game. So, uh, in the old Resident Evil 2 back in the 90s, it was all tank mechanics and was fixed-angled camera angles uh, in the game. So, you really didn't actually get to see everything that was in front of you. You kind of had to shoot off-screen sometimes to actually fight your enemies. And it just kind of was really weird on the way the dynamic of the game goes. But that was just the limitations of the PlayStation 1. With the over-the-shoulder gameplay, I actually really liked this. I really love that you actually get to see more of the detail of the RPD. You get to see more detail of what's going on in the environment. And I will say too, the, the front entrance of the police station is really cool to see what the details of. You actually see that people were trying to survive in that main entrance. Right here, you're seeing this miss missing person information. I'm going to do a little thing of like five things you might have missed in the demo. And this is one thing that's a really cool Easter egg callback to Resident Evil 1. If you guys don't know, back in Resident Evil 1, um, it started out with people missing. There was a lot of missing persons reports coming out and that's why uh, the stars had to investigate the mansion out in the out in the woods. So it's really cool to actually see some type of Easter egg like that that's actually connecting back to the first game. So I'll cover that in another video, kind of go in depth. If you guys have not played the first game, but to me when I saw that, I was like, wow, that is really cool callback. That's a really cool callback to the first game. So going back to the over-the-shoulder mechanic in this game, like I said, it does give you a lot of detail in this game. Uh, you're able to see different angles, different areas in the in the game that the other game did not allow you to do back in the 90s. Again, PlayStation 1 had a lot, a lot of limitations for it, but I really do feel like this gives you a lot more personality of not only the character, but as well as the environment. And also, too, it makes it really feel personal to you that you, uh, you have to survive in these really close quarter combat areas. I mean, good God, you'll be in these dark hallways where it's just you and a flashlight in your gun, and these zombies are closing in on you, and you really have nowhere else Else to go and as they're pushing closer and closer to you they just take up more and more and more of the screen again a limitation that the PlayStation 1 didn't really have because you just saw the zombie and your character you know the zombie walking closer to the character you didn't feel that claustrophobic feeling of you know being swarmed by different zombies so again I really do feel like this complements this game quite a bit with the over-the-shoulder mechanics already now let's get into the map layout changes of the RPD station because I have to say I'm very impressed and very surprised of the changes that they actually made to the RPD station. So first off, as a again, as a kid that played this game a lot in the 90s, knowing exactly where to go, what the layout was of the police station, where items were at, where weapons were at, where places to avoid uh, in the RPD station were, uh, it was really cool to see not only places where I felt like I knew exactly where I was at, again, the main hallway being one of those places where I'm like, man, I know exactly where I'm at in the police station. However, there are changes to this game. You are going to see different hallways closed off that were not closed off back in the 90s. I'm accessing the second floor of the main hall 
by a stairway, and you could not do that back in the 90s. You had to access it from a different uh, different room, and then you had to unlock or uh, have to uh, open up a, a ladder, an emergency ladder, uh, to be able to go from second floor and to the first floor. So, again, I really do feel like they did a great job making this PlayStation feel more realistic. Not only realistic with the feel of making it feel like people actually lived here, people worked in here. Again, if you guys don't know, this used to be an art museum before it was refurbished as a police station. Station. But I also think, too, they made these characters feel more realistic. I feel like Leon really does look like a police officer that you could see in Kansas City. You could see in St. Louis, New York, whatever. He's dressed like that. Back in the 90s, he was not dressed like that. But also, Marvin acts like a real person. He's not that person pointing a gun at you and <laughs> threatening you to get you out of his face. He really does feel more realistic. He feels like he cares about Leon, and it's really great to see that this world is something that, hell, you and I could live in if something, <laughs> something terrible happened in our lives. So it is really cool to experience this game in a whole new light, in a whole new area of different games, but also feeling really, feeling like you know exactly where you're going, feeling that nostalgia feeling of knowing exactly where, to go, where you're going, but also too, feeling a lot of different changes in this game. So as I'm starting to wrap up this video, I want to let pl new players know if you are somebody that is new, at, you know, getting into the Resident Evil series, get, getting introduced to Resident Evil 2 for the very first time, if you haven't played 1 or 0 or any of the other Resident Evil games, I think you're going to have a really good time. If you are somebody that loves puzzles, you love to be scared, you love the survival horror feel of not knowing if you're going to have enough ammo for the next fight or having to avoid different engagements in there to be able to survive to the next one and the next one and not knowing what's going on and wanting to be in a creepy feeling environment, I think Resident Evil 2 does a great job in being able to create that environment, creating um, you know places in in this game where you don't know if you're going to be able to make it or not, be able to survive. Uh, but also too, great puzzles. I think Resident Evil 2 does a great job with puzzles. I mean, the entire Resident Evil series um, has a lot of great puzzles. So not only do you have that survival horror game, but you also have you know you're you're being tested on being able to figure out these puzzles in order to progress through through the game. And I really do I, I think this is funny is as an older as an older guy I do remember back in the 90s where you'd have to like print stuff off a, a printer to uh, to either get cheat codes or to be able to get like walkthroughs there's no YouTube or anything back in the day you actually had to go to a computer print stuff off read it as you're playing the game so it's funny to play this game now and remember get those remembering uh, getting those memories of, of what I had to do in order to actually go through this game um, and be able to complete it as a little kid and now there's YouTube all the time so you can always Always watch a YouTube video and be able to figure out how, <laughs> how to do things. For players that are like me that have been playing Resident Evil games since you were a little kid, you played the first one, the second one, all the way up to Resident Evil 7, which I just finished uh, a couple of days ago. I think you're really going to enjoy this game. Again, you're going to get that nostalgia feeling of Resident Evil, getting that nostalgia feeling of Re of, of the Raccoon City Police Department. Um, again, you are going to get that nostalgia feeling. However, there are a lot of new changes that are coming into this game. The map layout changes uh, in different encounter engagements with the uh, creatures throughout uh, <laughs> throughout the Raccoon City Police Department. So it's really cool. I'm really happy with the state that this game is. I, I, I really do think it is kind of a bummer of how long you get to play this demo. You only get 30 minutes, so it's not a whole lot of time. So I would definitely, if, if you're somebody that's on the fence of buying this game, definitely take your time. Take your time going through this game of seeing it's something it, that it's right for you, seeing that you enjoy it, seeing if you uh, enjoy being you know scared and trying to figure out different things and enjoy the story. I think, again, Resident Evil 2 has one of the best stories out of the whole series of kind of figuring out what's going on in Raccoon City, what's going on in the undergrounds of the city, and just trying to figure out uh, how to stop it. So again, I'm really excited for this game, really excited that I got the opportunity to play the demo. I actually had to create another account in order to play it again, which you're actually seeing the second account, my second account uh, that I had to create today in order to get this game footage. But I really do uh, I really do look forward to this game. I really do hope that uh, my uh, m my video lets you guys know of one of how excited I am, but hopefully it makes you excited to uh, play this game and buy the game if you have a lot of fun in the demo. So guys, again, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've played the demo. What did you guys think about it? What did you get surprised by uh, playing it? If you're somebody that is like me that uh, used to play this game back in the 90s, I would love to know your uh, <laughs> what your uh, comments are for uh, you know coming back to this game you know 20 years later as a new player. I would love to know 
how was the game when you were playing it? Did it, did it feel like it was too hard, too easy? Um, is it something that you plan on buying later in the future? I'd love to know in the comments below. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop me a like. Enjoy the demo when you guys play it. And I will see you guys all next time.